guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Peggle and the Peggle Roguelike. I'm attempting something on camera for the first time that I have not done yet, which is I'm attempting to beat Crucible level 7. I have not tackled this yet. If I've just been playing on Crucible level 4 a lot. This one's going to be way harder. So I, if you don't know Crucible level 7, it's a lot of different modifiers combined. And I've memorized them. Let's see if I can actually recite them. The first one is that there are more um, regular stones that you start with, and each stone does one less damage when critting. The next one is that, ooh, let's go with a bold orb here. Get that AOE down, lock it in, and let me look at the map. I'm gonna take the free chest over the two elite fights. It seems like a more manageable trade-off. Yeah, so elite fights could show up in the question marks, and then bosses, have more HP, that's one. And then a separate one is that regular enemies and elites also have more HP. So that's two separate ones. There's one where there's one fewer crit and one fewer refresh on the board, which is insane. There's also higher miss navigation damage, five miss navigation damage instead of two. And there is the uh, less healing after a fight, heal 15% instead of 20%. So it's not easy, but it's the hardest one in the game so far. I'm sure it will only get more and more difficult as more updates are added. But I do think I have the skill to pull it off right now. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping it doesn't take too many tries. This is in fact my first try. And I start with the relic that gives me plus one balance on reload, which just means that when I reload, I get plus X plus X, which means that every time I reload, all my orbs get plus one plus one. So I kind of want to thin to win. Does that mean I take the lightning? Yeah, sometimes because, I mean, this can give like a tier three ball lightning sometimes. Well, sometimes it gives a tier one, but sometimes it gives a tier three. You never know. Um, I am gonna try to thin to win though, and every reload gives plus two, plus zero. So I really want to reload often. I should just be skipping all of my orbs now, even if they seem decent just to get that sick, sick reload bonus. Yeah, so do a skip. Uh, this is going to do zero damage. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go for the bombs, uh, is the only thing I can get out of this. Yeah, it's actually not often that I have to think about how Bulldog only <laughs> hits stuff on the ground. What a joke. Yeah, give me those sweet, sweet refreshes. Still gonna try to bomb it up, and there we go. Oh, it's perfect, I get a kill here too. He's going great. Probably want to get that refresh eventually, or maybe not. I mean, you know what? I'll skip it. They get a move. I'm definitely skipping this. So it's a 4 3 now. It's better when I don't crit. Got a kill. Worth it. I should probably get the refresh, though. Well, it's going to take a couple shots, I think. Yeah, it's going to take a few. This one should do it. Oh, five off. A right, little bit extra damage. Uh, I'm actually going to shoot this one. Just to get the kill. So another one. It's a 7-9. That's cracked. Well, I, I got to shoot it, and I'll take the 9. There we go. So that's how quickly damage can scale. I mean, hot damn. Ball lightning is actually exceptionally good with this reload synergy, because it hits multiple pegs every bounce. I mean, that scales beautifully with balance. So now, I mean, I'm also better on non-crits, so I kind of don't want to crit. Uh, this though, AOE is actually pretty cracked in this fight, so I will, in fact, take it. Try to hit some, oh my God, that was terrible. All right, well, I gotta hit some bombs now. Just gonna take a bit. Hopefully I get there eventually at least. Hopefully I don't like refresh accidentally. Keep skipping. All right, come on. Yes. Good. Show me some more. Yes, that's huge. All right, two is perfect. Anything more is just a fun little bonus and I'm getting lots of fun bonuses. That's gonna kill everything. Hell yeah. Another upgrade. Give me that ball lightning. I can definitely handle an elite fight with this setup. I've come prepared. 
Yeah, ball lightning is kind of insane here. Let's go right side. Although, honestly, it's not going to be like that much more than usual. Let's take a bold orb here. Bounce it over. Uh, hitting a refresh is okay. And now I just kind of make my way towards the reload. Knock out some stuff in the middle. Try to get to that refresh. Keep skipping. Take the shot. I'm doing pretty good, even though it's kind of going to crap. Okay, I, I will still skip. Dagorb's still pretty solid. Gotta refresh, though. Oh, I should... Yeah, I should be able to get it all. Ooh, this is a baller, actually. Almost the kill. Damn, that would have been perfect, actually, if I had finished it off there. Well, two shots, two kills. I should definitely just take this shot. I've taken a bit of damage. I'm going to have to heal for 15%. Oh, but I got the upgrade. I think I can handle just upgrading. I'm likely not taking too many more late fights. Bold Orb's great here. Refreshes activate nearby pegs when hit. Every 30 hits are converted to bombs. To be honest, I don't want to go bomb build. I, I know I took this last run, and I thought it was really good last run. And I think if I... This is a run where I could stockpile a ton of refreshes. I think I want regular fights, so I'll take them. I'm kind of looking for the post-fight benefit where... Well, they offer me a new orb, which I'll probably take healing instead. Oh, damage against slimes. Awesome. Well, maybe I'll actually face some slimes. This salt shaker is actually such a slap in the face. Even when there are slimes, it doesn't matter. It's not worth it. I mean, it's not that exciting is what I should be saying. You know what? I'm actually going to go dag orb here. Screw it. So what if I deal extra damage to slimes? How does that help me really? I'll tell you what, it doesn't. Like, compare that to the, um... Uh, let's see if I can remember what it's called. It was like a relic that gives you five free peg hits on every shot. That's gonna be worth way more than 10 damage, and that's to everything all of the time. So I don't fully understand it. You know, I'm gonna take a skip here. Uh, let's go ball lightning so I can knock out this bat. Beautiful. Love spending 141 on a five damage dude. That's great. Am I just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be taking bat damage. I actually think I'll be fine. You know, kill the bat, then I kill the other dudes. Yeah, they they will die in due time. Maybe keep reloading a bit. That's another kill. Uh, this one's a bit harder. You know what? Screw the crit. I'm just gonna power slide. And then he's done. Yeah. So I don't want any of these. Yeah, thin to win. And with that in mind, I'll keep taking on fights. I do need to find a relic that'll heal me, so hopefully that elite fight will do the trick. Yeah, already my deck feels too big. Because I'm hitting bombs early. Okay, bold orb. Damn, this represents a ton of damage, actually. Good enough. Let's go with this one. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, damn, this build is good. I'll take a refresh. See if I can bounce off this peg into the refresh. Beautiful. How does he do it? Years of peggle practice. Do I want Dagorb? Or do I want to just start upgrading my stones? Nah, I want Dagorb. Dagorb with crits. Uh, still a ton of damage. Man, I'm loving how this is going right now. Usually I do not feel too secure in floor one whenever I am playing post um, uh, cr Critiball 5. Because let me tell you, man, this game with Critiball is a little bit inconsistent with its balancing. I mean, sometimes you just heal five less or, you know, 5% less after a fight as that option. And that's, you know, a fine Critiball level. But then there's the one that removes a damn crit and refresh and that that one's just insane in comparison it, it is so much and what the where's my trajectory why can't i see no oh, it's because i hit that top thing ruining my shot how dare you absolute assholery 
Yeah, this is by far like the hardest um, modifier in Critable yet. They could probably split it up into two separate modifiers and still have it be a hell of a challenge. Where, yeah, one Critable tier is remove a crit and the other one is remove a refresh. Th that's how insane this is. But I, it's really going well so far and I keep getting upgrades. I'll gladly take another Dagor. I'm doing fine on HP. So I don't mind letting it run. I think I can handle an elite and a boss back to back. Oh, and this is a pretty good elite fight just in general. Any time where you can get good bomb value is good by me. I'm not gonna skip the bulldog orb here though. This represents a ton of damage. Um, yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, crap. I wanna hit the refresh. Think I can launch into that refresh? Let's try it. Holy shit, how does he do it? I have been on fire today. Now I'm gonna start skipping. Make my way closer to the reload. Cause I just gotta muscle him. And the way that's gonna get done is by just doing more damage. Yeah, I can do better here. Send it. Oh, nice. Definitely gonna ball lightning. Let's go left cause that's where the refresh is. Nice. Let's shoot this one over here. I was actually kind of hoping to avoid the refresh. But that's fine. I win for sure here. 110%. So a no damage elite fight and another upgrade. Am I really upgrading my stone here? I mean, yeah, I'm not dying to the boss fight. It's just not happening. Bomb supply blind one? I'm not trying to go bombs. So the enemies would only have a 11% chance to miss when attacking, meh. Take bouncer damage, carry on. Hopefully I get that relic that lets me skip multiple of, um, multiple orbs. That would just be perfect. Ooh, pretty good start. A little bouncer damage too. Okay, I'm gonna take the bold orb here again. The skip is just not worth it to me. Pretty good. You know, I'm gonna take a crit. We'll see if it happens. Odds are in my favor. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, risk and reward. Holy damage! 58. You lucky motherfucker. You escaped with your life. But he's two bombs away from being taken down. There's one. And there's two. What a fight. Hot damn, this deck is sweet. So again, I probably want a thin to win. Let's keep it thin. Show me some skips. Oh, I didn't get it. Wait, oh, this is the opposite. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, I gotta take the gift that keeps on giving then. Can't complain about it. It is the best boss relic in the game. The others really have to step up to this guy's level. And gonna start with the tier two stone. See what kind of damage I get. Floor two actually might be really hard for me because I only have one AOE, which is kind of nasty. I'm even gonna take the damage right now. I'm, yeah, never gonna pass up a bold orb. This this floor basically kind of says AoE or die. And honestly, this game kind of says AoE or die. And I know, like, why not just get AoE then? But I really do think there's a balance issue that probably needs to be addressed. In that, there is a lot of orbs in this game that don't have AoE. And they are not given the appropriate balance to make up for it. I'm just gonna take a reload here. Oh, well worth it. There, there. That's killing, right? Yeah. There is, um, a lot of orbs that I don't think have been balanced up to the standards of this game. So, I mean, the ones I'm kind of talking about are the ones that have been around since the very beginning of the game. I mean, there are a ton of orbs in right now. That was such bad timing. Well, why did I think that would hit? Oh, I messed up so bad. It's okay, I'll probably kill soon. I'll, I'll kill within two shots, guaranteed. Oh, that one's enough. As I was saying, there's just a ton of orbs that were added early on in the game's release. All at the time that, I'm gonna take a Dr. Orb, I think. Basically in that time, there was only floor one and the Crucible did not exist. So the standards for difficulty were much, much lower and those orbs were balanced around then. Orbs like the Bramble, orbs like the one that gives blindness, 
orbs like Memorb and uh, Ekorb. That sort of stuff I really think could use a buff in this current state of the game. And I've been thinking about like how would you want to buff them because honestly buffing some of these you know, early orbs that never really caught up to the rest of the pack would be kind of just as exciting as receiving new orbs. So doing it right I think would be, you know, is, is pretty important. I'm thinking like, well, I mean if you want to just make it good without a care about how fun it is, then what you do... I don't want to take damage. I don't think I'll have a choice. Well then what you'd want to do is just add more damage numbers. You know, just give it higher numbers so it kills things better. That hurts. Son of a bitch. But that's like really unfun. And that would kind of just make all the orbs play the same. I've got to upgrade my Doctor Orb to use it. I got healing, so I guess I'm not too worried. So I, I, what you got to do is you just got to take those orb special abilities and raise them to 100. And just thinking about this one, I think I just want to start with Doctor Orb. As weird as that sounds, I know. I am um, just going to take my very quick heal. And that's because I want to wanted to set up a ball lightning on this front enemy. Here? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I could kill that front enemy. I guess it was just always going to happen, but, you know, that's, that's cool. Whatever. There's no way I'm critting. I also want to get close to that bold orb. Um, but unless if I hit the refresh, bold orb's going to suck. Well, no, I could still always aim bold orb to the right, and it'd probably rack up some decent damage. Yeah, what do I have to worry about anyway? Oh no, it's this again. Okay, this has been happening a lot lately, and it's only been happening this game. I feel like something got fraudulently changed. Well, what, is this just gonna go straight down the middle then? Hmm. No, that's not terrible actually. Get my 100 damage. Still not ideal though. Okay, I'm in the time when crits are still okay. Got the kill, that's all that matters. Still hurts. I mean, as long as I don't die, I'll be all right. All the good orbs are on the bottom, great. I'm gonna make my way towards them and maybe try to refresh. Perfect. Oh, another refresh? No, guess not. Ah, uh, well, it's gonna take a bit, but I'll get there. I don't wanna just kill both of them, so let's go Bulldorb. Here we go again. But as, as I was saying, you know, Bramble could just do more blind. The blind guy could actually blind more frequently. Like, tier one blind orb just blinds enemies 15% of the time, which barely feels like it does anything. I'll go tier three stone here. What an incredible upgrade. And I did want to go for the elite fight. I think I can handle it. At least with the Doc Dorbin on my side. Haglin. Oh, we're thinning to win here. I <laughs> feel you know, for the first time. But it's worth it. And hopefully I don't randomly die. No, this is a good elite fight for me. You know, I don't even want to start with Doctor. I'm going to use it later. For now, just a bunch of stone stuff. Uh, there's also the Ek Orb, which is really bad just because it heavily relies on the previous orb's damage. Like, nothing matters except for that guy's damage. The Mem Orb is decent but a little slow. And that one's kind of the opposite. You know, if you use it late, you can guarantee to get good damage. Otherwise, it's guaranteed to not be good damage. It just feels like the stuff needs to be rebalanced for, with, you know, with the Crucible in consideration. I'm even going to skip over Tier 3 Stone. I'm just trying to get to the reload point. No matter what it takes. Ooh. Actually, it might not matter because I think Voldorb's just going to take it home. Oh, does not refresh. Okay, it is going to run out of damage, but hot damn. <laughs> this deck is insane. Uh, can I win right now? Nah, eh, no guarantee. Let's just send it. And now try to get that refresh. Guess not. And there's some other orbs that I'm sure could also benefit from the balance, but I just can't think of what they are. So you'll just have to, like, trust me on it. Source, you just trust me. Oh, and I'm going to end this with a sweet, sweet heal. That's enough healing for three lifetimes. Okay, now it's over. 
like I said, this deck is going great. I don't think I need a persist too. I think I'll just upgrade my stones. Um, the crit fleece actually got nerfed to be uh, additive and not multiplicative. So I'm glad I got the combo in before that happened. Anyways, there's only one crit on the field. So I'll take Puppet. Prevent the time I lose HP. It actually has a wide benefit to me. I don't take damage more than once that often. Ooh, this is a really good Bulldor play. Hopefully it works out. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I'll just be making my way. Let's see if I can hit that crit. Nah. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Well, I mean, there's still Miracle run out, but I mean, whatever. That's fine. Oh no, not the damage. Whatever will I do? Uh, I think they're going a little shoddy right now. Damn it, I want ball lightning though. It sucks I have to skip over this to get the power. Whatever, I'll skip it. That's a 7-8. Let's take my hopefully guaranteed kill. Oh, not even close to guaranteed kill. Right, this will do some killing, surely. Don't let me down. Oh, beautiful. Definitely take an upgrade. Another tier 3 stone. This is just upgrade city. Population me. Um, I will probably take the Dag Orb here. This is actually not an easy fight to have Bold Orb in the back. Actually, let me see. We'll go this, then this. Oh, I gotta skip, actually. The more I skip, the sooner I get the Bold Orb. And, I mean, this stone is not that bad. This will probably be enough damage to one-shot something anyway. Yeah, Dag Orb would have been overkill. And Ball Lightning. What if I attack this to actually get the extra damage? Or to, yeah, to knock out the shield. Do a little two for one. At least hopefully. Oh, perfect. Ooh. And now I get that sweet, sweet Bulldorb value. Maybe I should have just attacked the range guy if I thought Bulldorb was going to kill. But I can't know whether it's going to kill. There's a chance it's... You know, dicks me. Never mind. This is why I rush Bulldorb. I'm getting offered so many upgrades. Um, sure. I don't really need the HP. Yeah, give me this stone. I mean, I'll still probably remove it at some point. Do I want to take on the fight? Sure. The chance I get good stuff from it. What a weird run this is. Uh, Ball Lightning stinks here. I want things that fire forward. And I think more than anything else, I just want to skip and skip and skip. Alright, stone level 3 is going to do nothing. I'll take my heal. Hit some bombs in the meantime. Ooh, not even a full heal though. Kind of gross. Uh, well, Bold Orb is very good, so I should take it. Chuck it. Perfect. Thank you for ending that without a question of a doubt. So, do I want anything out of these? Maybe Extraordinary. Well, because what's weird is that I've been doing really well without reloading. <laughs> Can you believe it? Still, you know what? I want to take the Extraordinary just because I feel like it. Uh, there is an Elite fight to the left. Hopefully... Actually get it. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally for better targeting. My only piercing is the Bulldorp, and that only attacks ground enemies. Shame. Well, Bulldorp's pretty good here. Hoping it's some sweet kills. That'll do it. Good turn. Oh, Critical got buffed. This is 0-4 now. Anyways, this does not fit my build. I'll just heal and move on. Okay, I'd prefer to avoid taking five damage. There we go. Uh, I'm hoping to get some more refreshes after this. Either way, starting with Bulldog for sure. Try to hit that crit. There we go. I guess actually the crit fleece is okay, considering the crit is durable. When did that change, actually? I'm pretty sure it used to be that um, durable crits would change into a regular peg after you hit it the first time. And I don't know when that changed. But you know what? It's cool that it did. 
So even though the fleece isn't like as powerful as it used to be, it's still solid synergy. Okay, I don't need healing. Just take a refresh. Maybe I could have gunned harder for that crit. Whatever. Send it. Ooh, missed the crit. Just so narrowly. I'm gonna take the reload here. Like I said, I mean, this build just super pops off after reloads. It is night and day. Plus, this is worth eight. Just whatever you do, do not crit. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to be that desperate to not crit. Now I just want to refresh. Perfect. And love it. Take an upgrade, upgrade the extra orbinary out of everything. Apply blind when damaging enemies and all attacks have Echo 10. I'll take the Echo 10. Sounds pretty significant. One of these days I'll have to do an Echo build too. It Echo feels like it kind of needs more like relics and maybe different orbs. It, like the stuff that exists doesn't just need to be buffed, but there needs to be like more ways to synergize with Echo for Echo to actually be good. Cause it's just like in a weird state right now where it's just a vanity thing. Cause it depends so heavily on you actually getting a previous shot on the shot before. The shot of just, it's you're not gonna get that much extra damage out of it. Oh, please let me at least get 250. Good. Love it. Okay. Well, now I gotta make my way towards that refresh. This is not an easy one to hit, by the way. Just hope that it can happen, though. Nope. That's fine. I got ball lightning here. That will certainly refresh, probably. Nice. And I'm probably skipping the Dagor, but we'll see. Yeah, this one's too luck-based. Um, I'm kind of thinking I just want to go stone here. The potential to... Oh, wait. Actually, that crit is not hittable. If I just shoot to the right. Yeah, yeah. I'm avoiding the shit out of that crit. We are good. But I thought about it. Strangely enough. Um, I will be doing Doc Dorb. I'm going to make it a, a delayed Doc Dorb. I want to kill this guy first. There we go. Yeah, I'll probably get some spicy healing here. Bomb would be... Whatever. Dag orb. Even if I don't crit, it's almost just as good as the previous orb. But I crit anyway. That's what it's all about. And let's bring it home. We get 77 damage for free. The rest should be easy. All right. Taking out a leaf fight. Another upgrade. This is the one I wanted. I hope this works now. Effects that apply plus X plus Y to this orb instead uh, applying both to the non-crit value. So that matters for balance. So this will become even better on reloading. And actually, Power Glove will super apply to it. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, let's do this. I think I'm pretty good against this fight, considering I only avoid one thing that isn't single target damage. And frankly, that thing is also pretty good on this map. Yeah, I, I just kind of specialize in this fight, to be honest. Killing his first blocker. Extraordinary is sweet because there's no way I'm hitting that crit. So it, it can just go to town. Yeah, actually, with every single passing update, I'm liking Extra Orbinary more and more. I mean, they're adding synergy to it. So that certainly helps. And I'll take a ball lightning. Try to make my way towards... Oh, God, terrible run out, actually. Woof. I should have aimed that one better. All right, this one won't fail me, I'm sure. Oh, what the fuck? That was like the perfect jammed shot. Okay, well, two shots was some of the worst run out I think I've had. I don't know if I could replicate that if I tried. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, again, good news is I'm probably still set on this map, even with those setbacks, I should be fine, but what a funny predicament. Uh, I would like to hit that re- Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? It just got yeeted under my face cam. What in the fuck? Uh, that was funny. Alright, Bulldorb's a little buggy lately, and not just on this map. Uh, not complaining. Again, I'm still having a good time. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, you take the extra ordinary here. When it says 13 in that first number and the crit is nowhere to be found, you take this. I really need to get that, um, that, well, do I need to get that relic that removes the crit and then gives me damage? I mean, I don't know. You know, what if I want to pop off with Dagorb? Sometimes that'll happen. And frankly, I should prepare for a Dagorb pop off. Hmm, I might just take this over to the side here. That refresh in the middle is not going to be easy to get. I might just milk the rest of the map for what it's worth. So there's plenty of gold to be mined. What if instead of Dag Orb, I just refresh? Yeah, I like that. I'll let you take the stone shot here. Because I'm uh, in a state of non-trusting right now with the Bold Orb. Oh, but uh, it's a little bit better than a uh, Docked Orb. Alright, do I think I can get that refresh? Let's see. No, I cannot. Uh, things are a little tough then. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how to play this. Maybe shoot it over here. No, this is a pretty bad shot. Uh, Ball Lightning's gotta, gotta bail me out right now. Bounce into that refresh. Thank you. Okay. No, I'm safe now. It is practically unlosable. Yeah, it's the 17. I think this one's gonna be a killing blow. God, this skill's so fast. It's a shame I actually wasn't able to get more direct reload synergy in that where just my deck gets thinner, but this is still fine. This adds ores to my deck? No. Oh, these stink. Ah, what the hell. I was just saying how good this run is. Why not add a little bit of risk to the mix? Skull ultimate power with Doctor Orb as my only healing. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, I mean, two, time da two times damage is good. I've just got to play the game of don't fucking die. It's a fun game. I would recommend playing it in your own time. Anyways, let's start. Okay. Uh, Hurts a bit. Why, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting this? I regret taking this. <laughs> um, let's take an upgrade here. Oh, actually these options aren't that great. I'm, I'm gonna take a heal instead, Never mind. For some reason I thought I had not upgraded extra ordinary all the way. Uh, you, oh fuck, that hurt. You, uh, I should be taking the heal in most circumstances then. Okay, it's a fight. Well, I'm definitely using Docked Orb this time. Oh, that also means Puppet is pretty much always going to block two damage. Yikes. Uh, I could go Bold Orb then. The run up though is kind of dependent on whether I hit that crit. Actually, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to play this. I think I just take all the shots. No, no. Yes. Yes, I take all the shots. Name it over here. Try to get that refresh. Didn't get it. That's okay. Doctor Orb's still going to heal me a full, most likely. Try to get into that refresh. It's okay. I could just take some guaranteed damage right now. Yeah. Oh. So close. Okay. Um, I need to just hit one peg and get out. That's the play. One peg, get the hell out. Because echo damage will win by itself. Maybe here? That was okay. Took two extra damage. You know what? I'm gonna heal again. Exercise my right to constantly heal. Loving the danger. I'm definitely gonna take the elite fight though. There is not a doubt in my mind that I will be taking the elite fight. <laughs> Uh, this one may hurt like a bitch, though. 
Yeah, actually, hopefully I don't combination Skultimate Power and Red Bomb myself to death. That is a real possibility. Because I've already killed him. Like, lay off now. Please. I'm begging you. Don't hit that refresh. Whatever you do, for the love of God. Just get the fuck out of here, please. Okay, whatever. Just don't hit the refresh. <gasps> no. Thank God. Ah! <laughs> it's, uh, it's still going on. I need to get to the Doctor Orb. ASAP. This one, I, I kind of want to just start aiming down the pit. Well, that didn't work. Okay, be very careful. You can still die. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Fuck me. Okay, this is livable. It's like I want to hit the refresh and then get the hell out for this shot. That's as good as I could ask for. That was the perfect shot. Okay, I'm likely healing to full now. Oh, wait a second. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to die before I got that heal. <laughs> that was way too close. All right. Oh, God. What a nightmare of a fight. I need to get some passive healing. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the extra drama. This is so good. Right, always heal. Always elite. I could get corn. From the question mark, I suppose I could get a special relic. Oh, how do I play this fight? Bulldorb is terrible at this fight. Oh, and actually, the gift that keeps on giving is pretty bad here, too. Yeah, I don't know what to do. So I definitely extra ordinary. Send it up. I mean, especially with that refresh in such a terrible spot. Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't need a Doctorb yet. This can sometimes hit the refresh. Didn't. It didn't even come close. Let's refresh here. Hurts like a bitch. It's fine. Surely I'll finish him off. Mm, well, at least I get my Doctorb. I don't know the best way to go about it, but this will do. Damn, that's a ton of healing. Can I get inside this crevice here? Of course, that's where the crit is. Crit isn't like a good thing for me. Oops. Okay, extra ordinary is pretty solid here. Aim it like this, I think. All right, escaped with my life. Heal. Heal! Heal every time the board is refreshed. I just need healing, no matter what. And you know what? Uh, question marks probably mean that I'm not going to take damage. Just probably. Damn it. I also don't want to immediately heal. Oh, this one's tough to play. I can't guarantee I'll avoid that crit. Well, I can if I, like, aim down the center. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Glad I thought about that. Okay, if I get down the side, I'm guaranteed to crit. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to guarantee that I can stall until Doctor Orb. So I have nothing to worry about. Good start. Not perfect, though. Ooh, okay. This looks pretty bad. Do I get times two still? No. That's fine. Let's go Bold Orb. Try to refresh the board. Try not to kill both. Whatever. As long as I hit my Doctor Orb, I'm happy. Sweet. And now it's just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Take a reload. I forget if Bold Orb specialized against this. I want to win with as few hits taken as possible. That was pretty good. Concentrication's pretty good for a deck like this. Allows me a sniper refresh. Refresh Orb kind of does the same thing. Actually, Refresh Orb is a big healer. Yeah, because I'm going to be hitting a ton of pegs and refreshing heals. I should be taking this every time. That is a no-brainer. Damn it. 
just trying to get to the question mark without taking too much more damage. Stop doing that, please. Thank you. And what is this? Waterfall? No, just carry on. Do I want to just rush the chest? I think yes, actually. Question mark is probably bad for me. Uh-oh. Well, it is what it is. And I got a fight. Yikes. Bad, bad outcome. Well, I did okay last time in this fight. And I'm even better off now that I have the refresh orb. So I, I don't think I have anything to fear. And I should always just be full sending this. Hey, yeah, I got healing. Love it. I guess it wasn't a full heal, huh? It might be better when I upgrade it. Well, it's probably better on different maps. Like, this is not the greatest map for it. You know, as bad as Bulldorb is on this map, it's probably better than Dagorb right now. Nope, take that back. It's pretty ass. That's fine. Take a ball lightning. Try to see if I can refresh. Nope. That's okay. One doctor away from being back in this and... Ooh, how do I play this? I think I'll take the doctor up next time. I'm just trying to see if I can... Oh, if I'm trying to guarantee a refresh, I'm using the refresh orb. Duh. Send it. I was like, how can I bank into that refresh? But that's not a question I should be asking. All right, full heal time. Easy peasy. And this should be a killing blow. Nice. Jack Orb Lantern. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will... Oh, return to the top of the pegboard one time. Can target any enemy. Damn it all. It is too late to go for this thing. Why have I not seen this before? It's, uh... The relic is, like, one of the coolest relics in the game. And the fact that this exists. Yeah, I can't do this now. I'll, I'll take this another time, though. Don't you guys worry. I want to take this, like, earlier in the run. So I can not just have two fights total with it. Oh, more refreshes is wonderful. Yep, more refreshes is ideal. So I want to go to the right. I kind of want to go through the question marks instead of the elites, but that all, that's also to the right. All right. Plus 10 damage to plants. I love it. Yeah, especially since I just got a really good relic, which is more crits. I might as well just speed run this. I no longer need the relic from the elite fight. Yeah, this is baller... Not as baller as I'd hoped, actually. That's fine. Uh, how about I take the shot? Nice. Do not need a dock orb. Take a stone. Mm, I'm kind of suffering in this fight, huh? You know what? I'm going to take this stone here. I'm pretty sure this will kill the front enemy no matter what, so I kind of want to just get through my deck faster. And it did. Perfect. Take on Ball Lightning. Good thing I don't care too much about refreshes. Meh. Definitely not critting. Ooh, this is a tough one. I think I go Bold Orb here, try to deal some nice damage, and I'll get a full heal next shot for sure. Yeah, I think it'll be a net positive. And I've opened up the center, which is a good thing. One chest, that's especially a good thing. Oh, but now I got extra ordinary. So fine, I'll shoot over to the side. Definitely not hitting that crit. And definitely not hitting that crit. Let's go ball lightning. Send it. Damn. Okay, let's end this. Okay, got a good heal. Um, I'll carry on. Ethereal Peglin. Well, I'll gladly upgrade an orb. Upgrade to refresh orb. So I can get a guaranteed refresh by discarding it. Accelerating the Thin the Wind strat. I don't need fireballs. And I don't want the chip. This run is going too good to just leave it up the chance and take the trip chip. Let's enjoy what I have and hope that it can get me through this fight. 
Okay, so I've got to just not have it end up down the center. And this is a very good start. Perfect. And, I mean, this should kill so much. We need some good healing with that refresh orb coming up, though. You know what? It's not as bad as I figured. Okay, so I'm certainly hitting six pegs. Just the question is, can I hit significantly more? If I shoot like this, I think... Ah. Well, yeah, I guess, actually. Good heal. Oh, no, 10 HP. Whatever. What a <laughs> glorious overkill. Uh, I'll take the heal here before killing you. Yeah, this is certainly almost always getting the job done. But sometimes just barely. Uh, I can actually upgrade here, huh? Oh, it's just... Does this only do more damage? No, it refreshes the board on the first peg hit. That's quite good. I'll take it. Boss fight time. Everything should be coming together for this. It's the boss fight. How bad could it be? Seems like a good time to take an early extra ordinary. Ah, yeah, beautiful. Oh, these guys have 6,000 HP, though. A little bit different than normal. And I'm down to 70 HP already. Well, this will certainly help. Please- No! Dude! That game has to stop giving up so easily. Well, this has to be good, right? Well, I'm gonna fucking knock myself to death, actually. I need to dock orb right now. Good thing I have it. I also better... Yeah, I mean, I'm getting that full heal. I just better not die beforehand, huh? Ooh, still hurts like a bit of a bitch, though, huh? Yikes. Let's see if I can at least get a refresh. You know, that counts as healing. There we go. No refresh, though. Uh, I might just take ball lightning so they don't get two whole shots at me. And I need the refresh orb. Actually, I need to just not die right now. Am I gonna make it out okay? I don't know. Well, I got a couple of refreshes, so maybe that's a good... St Wait, no, I'm dead, right? No, I'm not dead. I might be dead. I'm dead. Probably. Holy f... <laughs> well, that fight was a nightmare. Uh, okay, I made it a little bit too interesting with the ultimate power. A little too interesting indeed. Well, still a fun run. <laughs> uh, gives me something I still gotta do. I've gotta beat this on F Crucible 7. I'm gonna keep it real. 6,000 HP on these guys is not gonna be an easy task, especially when they have scaling damage. That's what I'm going with. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this fun little reload build. I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Peglin. Should be a win or a good fight nonetheless. Have a wonderful day and peace.